Hey guys, just wanted to make a video on setting up the DOM and Motive Wave. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a blank template and name it DOM, just so we can show you. Um, next thing we're gonna do to open up the DOM, we're gonna go up here to the top right and click DOM panel here. And I'm going to make this larger. And the first thing I'm gonna do is reorganize the columns how I like them. So to reorganize, you just click on the column header at the top and drag it. So I'm gonna put the volume just to the right of the PNL and I'm gonna put the price just to the right of that. Everything else um, is kind of where I want it. Um, and I'm going to add all the columns that we don't already have. So I'm gonna go up here to the plus and I'm going to add the at bid and I'm going to add the at ask. Also gonna add the um, bid volume and the ask volume here. So now that we have that, um, we can reorganize these. I'm gonna put the at bid and at ask in the middle of the bid and the ask. And that's pretty much it for how the layout's gonna be. Now to go in and start styling it, I'm gonna go up here to the top right and go to the DOM preferences here. Um, first thing we can see here is we have the row height. So you can um, make the row height whatever you want. I kind of like them actually to be relatively small. So I'm gonna change the row height to 20, show you what that looks like. And I'm also gonna make the font um, a size smaller. So I'm gonna put the font at 12. You can change the um, font if you like. Um, but I like that it just condenses it down a little bit. And then you can also um, set stuff for recentering the DOM if you like. Um, I'm just gonna leave that at the default. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is you can see we have horizontal and vertical lines here. I actually like to have a vertical line. Um, and you can also put a horizontal line. Um, I'm gonna put both of these. I'm gonna make the horizontal lines nearly invisible by putting them at 0.25. Um, that way they aren't as um, clear. And then I'm gonna put the vertical lines at 0.5. So now we have those lines there. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go to the bid ask and I'm gonna mess around a little bit with the colors here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the bid fill. I'm gonna make this a dark blue and the blue color is going to be 41, 71, 101. Click okay. For the ask fill, I'm going to make the RGB 81, 55, 55. Hit okay. And then I'm going to go to the bid histogram fill and make this a little bit brighter. I'm gonna make the opacity 100% and make the blue be 57, 105, 157. And then for the ask histogram, I'm going to make this be 169, 57, 54, and then also make the opacity 100%. Um, now that we have that, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the MBO data. You can keep it if you like seeing these big orders that are on the book. Um, I don't use it, I just use the totals, so I'm going to uncheck that, and that will remove those and just leave the totals. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the bid and the ask text, so I'm going to uncheck the use default for both of them. For the bid text, I'm going to make it a very bright blue. So it's going to be 52, 183, 244. And then for the ask text, I'm going to do 253, 59, 49. There, click OK. So now that we have all of those, we can click Apply. And if you, really, if you don't really look at the um, bid and the ask, you can change here, I believe. Um, the depth. So if you only wanted to show 10, you can do it there. Um, that way you aren't as distracted. Um, but I tend to use the whole order book here. So we can leave that how it is. Um, but that's pretty much it for that. 
The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the at bid at ask. I'm gonna change this green to blue. So I'm gonna to go to here and make the um, color there to be, so the at ask, I'm gonna make it blue, go to the RGB, and we're gonna make this 57, 105, 157 there. And for the bid, I'm gonna make it a little bit less poppy and make it 169, 57, 54 there. Hit okay, hit apply. Um, now that we have those, depending on how you like it, you can um, align these to different sides. I would technically hopefully do center align, but there is none. You can only align right or left. So I think this is probably the best to just have it um, aligned kind of near the center. You can also have it show a histogram so you can kind of see visually a little bit better um, what that looks like there. Um, I don't use the histogram, so I'm not going to check that. So I'll just leave that how it is. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to volume. I'm gonna uncheck the show value area because it is also affecting the coloring of the bid and the ask volume. And I tech usually use a daily chart to actually see the value area on the day rather than um, here on the DOM. So I'm gonna go here to the <clears throat> volume and I'm gonna uncheck show value area. And then for the bid color, I'm going to make this be the dark color that's the same as the bid background. And so I'm gonna make the bid color 41, 71, 101, and make the opacity 100%. And for the ask color, also 100% opacity. And we're gonna make it a dark red, so 81, 55, 55 there. Hit okay. And for the text, I'm gonna uncheck the use default. For the bid text, I'm going to use the bright color we used earlier, which is um, 52, 183, 244. For the ask text, I'm going to do similar. Do 253, 59, 49. Hit apply. That way we have that kind of pops a bit. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for setting up the DOM. Um, anything else you want to do, you can. Um, look at whatever column you want. For example, if you want to change the price column to have a different fill or different things to show on the price column, you can do that here. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to leave all of this the same uh, as this is how I like the DOM to be set up.